Hello, my name's Kevin Delaney. I am head professional here at Thaden Boyce Golf Club. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are looking at bunker shots and this is the one lesson that you need to make sure that you get out of the bunkers every time. Remember guys, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so that you know when these things are going live and give the video the thumbs up. Right, so we're here on the eighth hole at Thaden. Um, we're looking at the bunker shots. So, first thing to understand is how to use your wedge, your sand wedge, or whatever wedge it is that you use when you're um, coming out of bunkers. So here I've got a 58 degree. And it's about understanding the bounce and making sure that you use that effectively. So the bounce is, it's the difference in the angle that's created between the back of the club and the leading edge. Now the bounce is gonna be what you're using in the sense. It's that that guides the club in um, and then slides underneath the ball. So at no point when you play a bunker shot, are you really trying to hit the ball? Is the sand that you're trying to make contact with. Now when I'm teaching bunkers with pupils and stuff like that, the um, most common thing that I'll see is a lack of rhythm and understanding how to play the bunker shot. So, you know, you'll often see somebody set themselves up and feel like they need to go in with that leading edge and dig down. And the moment that you close that club face down, you're going to have inconsistencies in the strike and the shot. So you, the ball's going to come out a lot lower, a lot quicker. You're not going to have control on it. And ultimately, what we're striving for is exactly what you'll see on the TV, where the, you know, a nice little splash out, the ball lifts, rise, and has a little bit of spin uh, on it so that you can gauge the distance a bit more effectively. So this is one tip that I use with pupils to help them. Um, and it's specifically about getting the rhythm right. So making sure that the individual sets up so that the club face is always um, pointing, club face is always pointing at the target. Your feet are left of the target. Um, that's going to open up the club face. So whatever you do, you're you're increasing the loft on the wedge. So I've got the 58, so I'm increasing it from there. And this simple tip is to put, and I'll, I'll give you a close up. So I've got two lines in the sand and a ball there, and it's just to take a few practice swings. Now this is definitely something that you can do while you're practicing and not playing, because obviously you can't ground the club when you're playing your round of golf. But put two lines in the sand, set yourself up, and try and get. like that, so, you know, two lines in the sand, take a couple of swings where you're targeting those lines and then step into the ball and then hit that shot so that it just splashes out. I'll have another go at that. So again, a couple of lines in the sand so they're roughly, you know, a few inches apart. Again, so I'll just do that again. So it's about, you know, take a couple of swings and then sort of step in forward so you keep the rhythm going so of the swing. So it's, and look at the lines, it's not the ball that you're looking at, it's the lines in the sand. So set yourself up, hit those lines. So it hits the first one, exit on the second, step in, and then hit the ball on the third one. And you can see there, a couple of good shots splashes out next to the hole. Listen guys, I hope that helps with your bunker play. Please feel free to leave any comments down below. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications so that you know these things are going live and give the video the thumbs up. If you check back in through the month of March, there's gonna be plenty of things coming on uh, to help you with your game, just going into the golfing season.